Ready or not, here I come. Oh, were they playing hide and seek? That voice. It's fine, I'm sure they're here somewhere. No, Bernard wouldn't do that. He's nice. Bernard? Talking to herself again. What a freak. Don't talk about her like that. Are these like kids? Shut up, Bernard. <laughs> Rude. Like all the kids that died here. Here she comes! Guys, come on, it's dark in there. This isn't funny. Oh, they were playing hide and seek. I really don't think we should. Shut the heck up, Bernard. Wow, who's being rude to Bernard? Oh, kids can be such assholes sometimes. So now what? What is it? You want to show me something? What the hell? It looked back at me. Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? Snowdrop. Oh. No draw. Why does should that sound familiar to me? As I got closer to the mirror. I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I can feel it calling out to me. It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Oh. Dreams of agony. Nice. Through the looking glass. Uh, what, what the hell is this place? Wait, I know 
you. You were that boy. Bernard, what was the f it? Oh. He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. His mouth? <laughs> What is happening? Oh, it's again. But I won't be able to go through that, will I? Oh. The spirit will. Use some of that energy. And we could go back here as well, I think. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart. Broken beyond repair. Well, Maybe that's I fucked can up. Find the one Bernard's missing. I need to look around. That cat figurine was the key. I can't pass through without it. Oh, great. Burn, you little fucks. This was yours, wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. Looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Mm, well, feels like it too. Not quite, but sure. Stay with me. Stay. Bitch. Last save less than a minute ago. Yes, yes, yes. Guessing this is encounter number two. Where you mustn't be killed. How? 
I couldn't believe it. That thing could travel between worlds. There was no escaping it. Examination room. Okay, there's the next one in here, I think. Uh, go in there to the left and track with the phone on the wall. Great. Another mirror. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very okay. meticulous of you, comrade. Comrade, whatever. Okay. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Wait. To the right of the last echo, a key can be found on the ground next to a cabinet. Pick up the key and use it on the door in this room. Uh. Locked. I don't see the key anywhere. I don't know if I have to go through here first. It doesn't say. Since there's nothing else here, I'm assuming that's what we have to do. I don't know if you can actually find postcards and stuff in the other side. I can just switch back and forth, okay? Oh no, there's more of them. No, this is after. This is weird. Welcome back, Smokey. Hello again. Okay, this is a bit odd. Let me just check this because I don't want to be missing things because everything here is missable. That's postcard number five. And a postcard when searching the left corner of the examination room. Whether or not to self advertise me there, but you should check out the stream on the weekend. Huh? What, what do you mean? How so? Left corner. I'm so confused here. Do I have the key already, maybe? No, I've got nothing. Make your stream on the weekends. Are you planning something? A little special upcoming. Oh, okay. You're not telling yet? Supposed to be surprise? Promotion someday. 
scenic view. While you are finding a way into the day room, you will be tasked with saving the souls of other victims. During this, there will come a point where you enter a new room to a mirror on the other side and then have to pick up a key next to a trash can to open the door on the right within the same room. Wait, what? I likely start playing the Resident Evil 3 remake. Oh, I, yeah, I just finished that. Oh my god, that just reminds me of my rage. Yesterday with that last boss on Inferno difficulty, like... <laughs> okay, while you're finding a way into the day room, you will be tasked with saving souls. During this, there will come a point where you enter a new room through a mirror on the other side, and then have to pick up a key next to a trash can to open the door on the right within the same room. What the fuck? That does not make any sense to me, that. It's not meant for Resident Evil 3. I, I did get extremely angry. Very angry. At Nemesis. There's those bolt cutters again. I still have to look up a video if somebody actually does that fight on an Inferno difficulty without using any of the bonus items. So it's supposed to be next to the trash can, but... Yeah, well, I spend my time playing Resident Evil 2 Leon's Pass, so... Or Claire looks pretty... Yeah, I think it's um pretty similar without a few exceptions, like... uh, I think you play as Ada for a little bit on Leon's Path, but you play as a little girl on Claire's Path. Oh yeah, apparently it should be next to the trash can, but there's no key here. So that has me a little bit confused. Well, to, for Inferno mode, you have to play through the game several times, right? To play Hardcore first, then you have to play on Nightmare, and that unlocks Inferno mode. Pick up the key. Yeah, yeah. Well, clearly there's no key here, so I'm just gonna assume that we come back here. We better. What has it done to you? No names, no faces, no way to help them. Torn apart. Just like Bernard. Send away the souls of the two victims. Nothing here. At least, not in this world. Oh, is that what I had to do? Of course it was. There we go. So stupid. Like, literally, fuck off. And that's what happens if you use a collectible guide. Sometimes it's just confusing. There you go. Oh, it's not the exact same postcards. Honey, I miss you a lot. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh boy.
Okay, that's the only way. I mean, it's all very linear. it is then, I guess. Hate that thing. Getting close. That woman was here. Oh. She was a ballerina? Ballerina? This room has Guy written all over it in big sloppy letters. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Was it a manager then, yeah? Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. Wrist? I don't care, I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. <laughs> Me. Oh, that's all? Okay. Just Vivienne? Star of no. the Bolshoi Theatre. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. That name, it's everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Yeah, this wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Ugh. That's a bit creepy, that.
Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. Okay. Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. Ellie and Tori. But which one is it? Oh, we have to find out her name. And find the mask. There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Oh. Oh, hey, are they asleep? It's fine, I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tomorrow, the big day. Yep. What? <laughs> Just a one sided conversation. Kiss them for me? My children, maybe? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Oh, that was a sin. Sorry. Not a. Doing my best? What? No, I. But what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Is this her talking to her mom? Don't call me Victoria. No, I hate that. So her Victoria. real name is Tori. That was her given name, but not the real one, not to her. Well, yes, this is Vivienne, room 347. I want to make a complaint. There was a man here, yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. <laughs> What, that was the chief of staff? You know what? Never mind, thank you. Whoops. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Oh my god, Ellie, I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. A manager, probably. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So, if you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori. It's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. Oh, this is back here. We don't have the mass. Okay, she doesn't want to go there. At least she tells me that that's not the way to go instead of doing the whole anima animation for me to find out that way. <laughs> 